Red Riding Hood. Amidst the rushing streams of sunshine sparkle and waves of merry laughter, there lay the humble village of Wintleberry. The people were kind and hardworking, and you'd never see a mean spirit anywhere. But you would see a bright red cape hopping about. It belonged to a young woman who the villagers knew affectionately as... Hello, Hello Red, red Hood. Hood! Little, Little Miss, Miss red. red! Hello! Hi! She was the kindest ever, and the people loved her. <laughs> Mother, I'm back with the groceries. Great, they're for Grandma. Oh, I see. Red Hood's Grandma lived in the dark woods that grew nearby, tall and menacing. The villagers kept away from it. Here are some cookies for her. Now, Red, I know. Be careful of the wild animals and stay on the path. Hurry home. Before, Before sunset. sunset. Return safely, my dear. Always, Mom. Red Hood left her home and was soon walking through the woods. <laughs> huh? What's that noise? She couldn't contain her curiosity. Oh, a woodcutter. Huh? Who are you? What are you doing here? I should be asking you that. You can call me Red Hood. Well, I'm Derek and I live here. In the woods? Why? I'm a woodcutter? I sell wood, so I live where the wood grows. You're sassy for an honest woodcutter. Who says I'm honest? Now what are you doing here, Red? I'm here to deliver cookies to my grandma. She lives in the woods. That's one brave grandma. Mind giving me a cookie before you leave? I don't feed dishonest woodcutters. Who says I'm dishonest? Hmm, here. The woods are full of terrible creatures. Should I accompany you? Nope, I'm all right. Well, if you need me, call and I'll come to you. The woods are silent, so I'll hear you easily. Red Hood was struck by his words. I'll keep that in mind. Bye, dishonest Derek. Bye, Red. <laughs> That's one brave woman. Red Hood continued on her walk. <laughs> Ow! What was... Oh! Well, well, who have we here? Red Hood had tripped over the tail of an evil wolf. Where are you off to in this dark wood? I'm... I'm off to, to, to my grandma's place. And where does grandma live? Maybe she'd like an extra guest. Red Hood was quick to think. I'm sure she'd love a visit from you. Grandma stays right near the river's edge. Then I'll... <laughs> Why do you smell of the woodcutter? Oh, oh! I met him. He's my f friend. Friend? The wolf feared the woodcutter. If I harm the woodcutter's friend, I'd be in trouble. But he's not here. I'll take my chances. <laughs> well then, I'll be off first. See you there. He bounded away gleefully towards the river's edge but soon realized... There, there's no house here. She tricked me! <laughs> That'll teach him a lesson. Whom, dear? Oh, no one. Have another cookie, Grandma. By the way, I met a certain woodcutter on my way here. Oh, Derek. He's such a kind man. She praised Derek for his helpful and kind nature. He knows you? He didn't tell me. Hmm. She soon kissed her grandma goodbye and returned homeward under the evening sky. After a few days, she visited the wood again. Hey there, Red. Hello, dishonest Derek. Am I really dishonest? Yes, you lied to me about knowing my grandma. I didn't lie, I just didn't tell you. Hmm, here. Ah, 
I thought you didn't feed dishonest people. Well, it's thanks for helping my grandma. Red Hood then told him about the wolf, and he grew concerned. That wolf is dangerous, and you travel alone with no weapons. My weapons are my courage and sharp mind. And if it attacks you, will you throw cupcakes at it? I have my own strengths. Here's mine. Strengths come in all forms. Goodbye, dishonest Derek. <laughs> See you later, Red. Hopefully. Hopefully. She went ahead, and down the path, the wolf jumped out at her. Oh, heh, hello. Little girl, you tricked me last time. I di didn't trick you. You must have gotten the wrong river. What? It's the, the one where the well, well, white flowers could grow. Ah, hmm. Are you lying? Oh, I wouldn't dare lie to a strong wolf like you. The wolf, pleased at this statement, bounded off in the wrong direction again. And Red Hood quickly skipped away to Grandma's house. Second victory! What, dear? Oh, nothing. Red Hood left quite early, and on returning, she bumped into Derek. Done with your visit? Yes. Done with your woodcutting? <laughs> yes, I am. Since it's still bright out, why don't I show you around? All right. In the days that followed, she would visit her grandma bearing goodies. On meeting the wolf, Red Hood's wit would always leave him lost, enabling her to enjoy tea time with her grandma. Later, she and Derek would roam the woods, exploring hidden excitements. Derek was in awe of her quick wit, and she in turn fell deeply for his gentle nature. But one day, Red Hood's mother had packed a strong scented cake in her basket. What's that smell? Derek sniffed the air curiously. After a few minutes, Red Hood turned up, her nose covered. Hi. Hello, Red. Is that scent coming from you? It's this cake. Better watch out. If you go down the path with that, every hungry animal here will hunt you down. Oh dear, I'm sure that won't happen. Look, I know you won't take any weapons, but at least take this rope. It may save you. Red Hood knew he was worried, and so she took it gratefully. I'll see you later. I'll be waiting. Red Hood walked down the familiar path. Once again, the wolf showed up. He was fuming. You've tricked me over and over again. How dare you? I'll finish you off, right? What's that? He had sniffed the delicious cake and how his mouth watered. Look. I've got some tasty, creamy cake here with me. Why don't you come to my grandma's house and share it with us? Well, where is it? It's right near the cuckoo's nest, where the yellow trees grow. Well, see you there. Red Hood hopped away in glee. The wolf, however, didn't. Does she think she'll trick me again? <laughs> Not this time. He trailed her quietly, his nose in the air tracing the sweet scent that enveloped her. She soon reached her grandma's house, and the wolf scurried off towards an open window. He leapt inside and looked around. Grandma wasn't there. She'd gone to visit her friend in the nearby village. Grandma, I'm here. Red Hood knocked on the door, giving the wolf enough time to slip into the old woman's clothes and lay hidden beneath her sheets. Come in! Red Hood entered and stared at the covered figure under the sheets. G grandma What's wrong? Oh, nothing much, dear. Just a slight chill. Oh, dear. I hope it's not a bad cold. No, it's not. Red Hood was stunned. Her grandma was usually hard of hearing. How did you hear me so well? Did your ears grow? 
a bit. All the better to hear you with, my dear. Did you get new specs, Grandma? Your eyes are rather large. All the better to see you with, my dear. Wait, your teeth, they're huge. All the better to eat you with, my dear. The wolf pounced on her, wrapping her up in her own cloak. Let her go! <laughs> now, I'll have a great meal. Now, let's start a fire, hmm? Huh, <laughs> no wood. I'll need some more. So off he went, leaving poor Red Hood bundled up and shivering with fright. Now, while the wolf disappeared, Red Hood's luck returned in the form of Derek. He sniffed a familiar smell. That scent, Red Hood. But this isn't the way to her grandma's house. Huh? What's that? Derek had found a torn piece of the red cape. Worried, he carefully followed the scent, reaching the wolf's den. Huh? Is that? <coughs> red Hood! Derek hurriedly freed her. Red Hood was so glad to see him. She explained everything. I'll capture that. Wait, if he sees you, he'll run away. I have a plan. The wolf returned, and without glancing at the red bundle, he started a fire. Now, it's time to... Huh? Did you grow bigger? What? I did. All the better to pounce on you. The wolf was horrified on seeing the woodcutter. He slipped out from Derek's fingers and ran for it. Now, Red! hi -ya! Oof! Uh, uh. We, we did, did it. it! Told you the rope would save you. Uh, how dare you! Never mess with a lady in red! Let me out! And so, the evil wolf was captured. He was the mean one scaring everyone in the village. And now the people of Wintleberry were free to wander around the woods as they pleased. And what happened to Red Hood and Derek? My, my! Have you and Red Hood become besties now? Well, something like that. Right, my dear Red? Yes, my dear Woodcutter. Red Hood had proven that wit and courage goes a long way in defeating evil. But she still followed a little of Derek's advice. Derek, however, learned from Red Hood's witty ways, growing to appreciate this newfound strength. And between the two of them, they grew a very strong bond. <laughs>